Hello, this is Steve from Beatles Leatherworks, and today we're going to do something different. Um, I've got two pairs of shoes. Um, one pair is an Allen Edmonds, the other one is an Alden. Now, they both had extensive water damage on the uppers. Um, and um, I wasn't going to videotape this uh, job, uh, but in conversations that I was having in some of the forums, um, somebody was asking about how to do water damage, um, how to repair them. How to bring them back so i figured you know what this is a perfect time for me to videotape what i'm doing to show what i do with the water damage uppers now there's no hammer time in this video so prepare yourselves okay next time i'll promise you i'll do more hammer time well plenty of hammer time now these um one of uh, the ellen edmund is a calf skin the aldens are um their shell cordovan shoes shell cordovan leather so both very similar but very different they're both leather yes but one is calf the other one is is uh, comes from a horse the rear of a horse um but this uh, the process of cleaning it was very similar um different products towards the end but uh, you'll get an idea of of how i do it and um how i bring it back as best as possible a lighter color uh, shell is very difficult to maintain that that light color again. Um, so I'll show you guys the couple of the processes that I do and um, to see if we can bring it back to what it used to be, uh, as close as possible anyway. All right, let's get started. All right, so we got a couple of pairs of water damage shoes today. All right, so this is basically called, we call this the Swedish bath. A friend of ours from Sweden, Peter, I don't know if he created it, but we, we named it after him, Swedish bath. He's from Sweden. Now this one's Shell Cordovan, okay? So I've got the sink filled with lukewarm water, okay? We're gonna add Lincoln Easy Cleaner. You guys see that? A little bit of Neats, um, what you call Lexol, Neats for the world. This is basically dish soap, okay, that I've got in here. Maybe two pumps of it. Now this is just for the water stains, okay? This is not to strip the dyes, strip the polish and all that off the surface. Now there's there's different methods of this. Okay. Some people scrub it down with the cleaner and run it under the water, rinse it off. Once it's scrubbed down, just take a piece of paper there, stuff the toe, paper towel, Seal it tight. Okay. And you leave it there for a couple of days and and when we come back, I'll open them up to show you what the water stain looks like. 
And then once it's dry, we, we take it out in a couple of days. We'll put a pair of shoe trees in there, leave them on its side, let them dry some more for a couple of days. Then once they're thoroughly dry, then you can take the strippers or, you know, the acetone or whatever you use to strip the uppers with to clean the surface again. This is just for the water stain. Okay. This is pretty drastic. I don't, I don't recommend this in all pairs of shoes. <clears throat> what the paper towel, what the paper towel does, it absorbs all the water along with the salt stains. And when you open them up, most of the salt stains will be gone. All right, I'll come back in a couple of days and we'll open these bags up and show you guys what they look like. As you guys can see, most of the salt stains are pretty much gone. And the shoes are still a little wet, but what a difference what it was to what it is now. Now let's check the, the shell, see what it looks like. So we're going to let these sit for a couple more days and thoroughly dry. But as you can see, I mean, it's drastically different than what it was. There are no more salt stains or water stains. All right, let's continue. All right, so now it's been a few days since these have been dried. Now we're gonna give it a little bit of acetone cleaning. We still have some dark spots right there. These on the other hand, turn out pretty good. As you can see, the water damage is gone. A little bit of salt residue still, but that's just on the surface, no big deal. Not much is coming off. 
I mean, this is drastic <clears throat> cleaning on shelves. And again, these aren't, I don't recommend this on all shelves. This was pretty drastic because it was in very bad shape, as you guys saw from the beginning. I focus on the toe here. It's got some streaks on there. Now you've got to condition these because right now they're as dry as can be. So once the acetone dries, I'm going to hit it with a couple of uh, coats of Venetian cream. Let it dry. Repeat that process maybe about three times. Not sure if this dark spot on the other side is going to go away. <clears throat> that spot right there in the past I've tried to, to put a little bit of dyes on the surface just so I can blend that stain in but you can't put too much of, of dyes on the cordovan I don't know if it's a darker tone maybe but not this shade there's not much hiding here for a bit. I think these are going to be incredible transformed from what they were to what it's going to be. I think these are going to have much, much more better luck than, than the shells. But we'll make the shells look better. Not new, that's for sure. Calf is a little bit easier to work with. Again, you can you can use dye on this and hide the blemishes and and blend it in a little bit better to the rest of the color of the shoe with the shell. It's not that simple. Got a little cracking going on right there. We'll focus on that. Maybe fill that in a little bit. Sand it. Smooth it out. Now the idea with this with the Swedish bath is to even out the surface. Because when it gets water damage, if you look at it on a microscope, it's the surface is, is raised where it's gotten wet. And anything you put on there is not going to make that go away. You're still going to see a little bit of it. So with this, with this bath, it kind of evens it out. And when you do go ahead and apply color to it, it's much smoother than what it was. As you can see, I mean, it's it's easier to bring the calf back than it is the shell. But that shell was in, was in pretty bad shape. I mean, it was it was very bad, badly damaged. All 
All right, we're gonna let that dry and moisturize them a little bit. All right, that's good thing. All right, so as you guys can see, we're we're making some progress. Now, it's still not finished yet. Still gonna burnish the toe a little bit, maybe burnish the, the back a little bit here. Now that was the side with the cracks in it. It's still a little dark, I'm working on that. Line that area up just a little. Looks better than what it was. Now, this has some dye on it, which I'm kind of, I mean, I'm not finished with it yet, but I'm not too crazy about the shells. I'll have to wait and see if I'm gonna apply some, um, some conditioners on it and some creams and maybe a little bit of wax and see what it looks like afterwards. I mean, obviously we, you know, the, the stains are pretty much gone or covered up. They're not completely gone. And um, it's looking a lot better than what it did, but I don't want to. I don't want to give it that plasticky look, if that makes sense. So I'm still working on these, but I'm making a little bit of progress, slowly but surely. All right, let's continue. All right, welcome back. So we're done with a couple of projects. These were in pretty bad shape. Now, I don't have a picture of what the bottoms used to look like, but there's a hole on the bottom. The heel was way worn down. I mean, it was in pretty bad shape. He wore the hell out of these shoes. But it's okay, though. We brought them back. Now... He had holes in the back of the heel liners also, so which we replaced that leather piece. We put a new pads inside. You got a full leather soles, dovetail pattern heel, brass nails. I added a midsole. Well, there was a midsole there, but it had a hole in it. So it literally wore through the midsole, uh, through the cork, almost through the footbed. And you see, you see what the uppers used to look like. I mean, it was it was pretty bad shape. Now the color... Is it the same 100% of what it was? No, it's not. But you know what? There's only so much you could do with these colors. Okay. And this is about the best I can bring them back to you. They're presentable. Um, I think that the customer is going to be ecstatic because, you know, he wore the hell out of the shoes. They were just dead. So from what it was to what it is, I think he's going to be very happy. Now, this was a uh, $450 job. Um, this is... Um, Shell cordovan is a little bit tougher to work on. Even this was a little bit of a trick to bring back uh, the condition it was in and um, took a little bit longer than, than the capskin did. So now these came, these, I mean, these turned out pretty good too. I'm happy with these. These are a lot easier to work on, okay? These got um, GTO sole guards and heels with the Lulu tips. Um, this was, I believe, 285 for this job. Um, 285. Yes, about 285 for that job. Um, but you guys got to be careful. I mean, you, you can't wear the shoes like that in the rain, unfortunately. Not this much. If you get caught in the rain, you got to treat them, okay? You got to stuff them with some newspaper, put them on the side, let them dry naturally, and then condition them, clean them, condition them, just to got to give it some life back to them. When you get it, when you get the uppers damaged that bad, I mean, there's only so much you could do with it, right? But as you can see, I mean, they, they came back pretty good. Very much presentable, you know? All right, well, thank you so much for joining me today. This was, I know, a different, it was a different video, you know, a different way of doing it. And unfortunately, 
it's not your usual restoration uh, video like I normally do. But you know what? It's better than nothing, especially now with everybody at home with this uh, virus going around. Um, we've, uh, we are still open, okay? Um, however, the foot traffic has slowed down dramatically. Um, customers, we, we kept our phone lines open. Um, customers would call in to pick up items. We would greet them outside the parking lot, hand them their item. Um, we, we wash up all the time. We clean the shop all the time, disinfect, spray. Uh, so we're taking precautions, you know, you have to, I guess. I mean, it's, uh, this, this thing is, um, this thing has gotten so out of hand. So many people have gotten hurt and so many people have died. So I wish you guys, uh, I wish you guys the best. Be safe. Okay. Be cautious. Uh, try to not to get around people who are sneezing and coughing. Uh, obviously, it might not be that virus, but still, who cares? You know, you don't want to take a chance, you know? So so let's let's keep on isolating ourselves for a little bit longer and being patient. And hopefully, we'll, we'll see, you know, this thing through and uh, we'll get back to a little bit of normal life. Okay. All right. So don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button, thumbs up, or the bell. The bell button. Give it a thumbs up. And um, we'll see you guys on the next project. All right, take care.